Welcome back to To The Point. We're about to preview question time. It's great to be with you this afternoon. I just assumed you'd continue complaining that you haven't got a copy of the book. I haven't got a copy of your book, Battle Weary. <laughs> Maybe it's because you keep mocking it that I don't send you a copy. I mean, honestly. <laughs> honestly, all right. If you send me a copy... I might learn the title. We're going to be here in the studio next week with uh, Wayne Arrington, my co-author. Uh, so we will be able to both try to teach you what the title of this book is. But listen, question time. What do you think is likely to come up? Where's Labor going to go? GST? Uh, well, GST will certainly come up. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't hear about Julie Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> well, there'll certainly be some interjections You are, about you that. are certainly setting the agenda with this oh, book yeah, already, yeah. Battleships. <laughs> You, 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 like, take yourself more seriously. This is, I mean, I, I might be a bit of a jokester, but you're meant to be an ex-premier. Oh, anyway, all right. I, well, I, feel, I feel battle weary listening about this. You book feel battle every weary. Single day. Viewer, well, we've barely viewer, started, by the sitting, way. He has been sending me extracts to read. He's been texting me. A minute me, ago, you were complaining that you haven't got a copy of the book. Well, if I, I, I feel so like on. I've already so we, got a full copy. Now, of the now book. you do sound like a former Labor politician. <laughs> is the issue that you're not getting to look at the book, or is it the issue that you're looking at the book too much? I, I think it would be nice to have the book in its totality. Well, I haven't got a copy of the book. Well, what kind of author? Where are you? Well, I've got an electronic copy, but I haven't got a hard uh, copy. It's I, being I printed email. as we speak. I have email. You often use it. Yeah, yeah. I don't okay, know. You probably right. post it on Twitter and you know, completely destroy yeah, my... Yeah, 140 <laughs> characters at a time. You can link to things, can't you? Yeah, I've never I, done I, it. Um, All right, let's get back to anyway, questions. Anyway, let's get back to questions. It's gone in four minutes, as in. Panic has just told us. Four How do you minutes. like having a director whose name is Panic? I mean, is there any capacity to do a show properly when you've got in your ear the whole time, Panic, what's happening? You're like... Anyway, all right, let's get back to the story. Um, okay, well, GST will come up, clearly. Oh, clearly the GST will come <laughs> up. <laughs> Don't panic, all right? Keep going. <laughs> you just go. <laughs> you lost it, all right. Um, clearly they will talk about the GST. Uh, I suspect that there could well be something about the Julie Bishop situation, although the mm. fact that she's answered well, it... Well, I mean, you saw like so Tanya Plibersek out earlier this time. <laughs> I did this to David Spears last week. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to talk is, about it. This is now I'm getting mocked in my ear as well. I mean, there's just no support here at Sky News. I mean, you're all on your own. I've got a host who can't hold herself together. I've got a director attacking me in my ear. How long till question time? I mean, can we take some of these 90-second bores that happen in the lead-up to it? Let's not do that. Let's not do that. No, let's, not, okay. let's not do that. People will change the channel. As I said, as I said we saw Tanya Plibersek out this morning talking about the, um, the Julie Bishop. She said she was in it up to her. I'm not even making... I am trying to make a serious... All right. Can You're making me lose it now as well. <laughs> Can we bring back David All jokes Lynch? aside, all jokes aside, they will, they will go after the GST. There's no doubt about that. Uh, the government will continue... This, this won't make you laugh. They'll continue their constituent questions. Oh, actually, you know, you will, they will continue their constituent questions. I want to hear another question of Paul Fletcher. He is the man... Well, he, he's quite, just getting question after question think, after question. Is that because his portfolio lends itself to these constituent questions? Absolutely it does. And clearly Paul Fletcher is the most inaccessible person in the parliament because his, his fellow colleagues don't feel they can just Except, walk up and ask him a question. They've got to wait till question time. I think Christina Keneally's view, I think her view is that this was like some sort of conspiracy by Paul Fletcher to introduce <laughs> constituent oh, questions. You know, I don't trust that Paul Fletcher. I mean, Did you see the one yesterday? Go, David yeah. Spears and mm. I gave it our wooden spoon. Sarah Henderson tweeted her question <laughs> before she delivered it she as delivered a it. question wow. without notice. Wow. That's Theater of the absurd. That it is. It's getting ridiculous. So uh, our advice to the government, in as much as they might take our advice, is what did you call it? Junk this crap. I mean, this is well, They're not listening now. They're making silly. their way to question time. They're making it's their way to question time. literally on in 90 time. seconds. They are indeed. So, uh, so what else do you think Labor well, might go I mean, after? Well, I don't know about Social Labor, services? but you can expect you're going to hear, oh, of course, the snakes and ladders, winners and losers argument will continue. You can expect that you're going to hear from the government, of course, a lot of crowing about this unemployment figure. I mean, what do you make of that? How, how do you explain that type of dramatic? Is this an ABS data screw up again? I mean, do we need to wait to next <laughs> month to make you, you sure You can't even acknowledge some actually, good news well, for the nation. I don't know the, the last time the ABS delivered this type of fabulous news on the unemployment rate, the next month they, they crawled it, they just clawed it right back. Well, down to 5.9, I mean, that is good news. I, I, mm. I genuinely think that there is more business confidence. We saw that yeah. in some of the well, figures released the it, other it's day. it's coming off now, though. It is, it's coming off. Well, the latest is... And, and the government will definitely... You're right, though. The consumer confidence never really rose as high as the business confidence. So perhaps voters consume... But they're polling. Who knows? Um, but definitely... Um, Definitely what it, I think you'll hear crowing from the government on yeah. how terrific these are. You will. Interesting, of course, we should note um, mm. Malcolm Turnbull won't be at question no. time. So uh, Warren Truss 
will be in the chair. Wow. Uh, he'll be he'll be running I, proceedings. I, 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 I see TV switching on all across the nation at that news. But it, it, it means that any questions or a lot more questions presumably will, we'll be, go, to will go to Scott Morrison in particular on the economy Bishop, or Julie Bishop perhaps, but mm. they'll have to be relevant to her portfolio or wow. else they won't be able to ask them if well, the foreign minister. Well, Christopher Pines probably practised a few lines they'll, 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 they, There will be some argy-bargy, I think, I in suspect. this question time about what constitutes a legitimate question. Let's take you there now. Christina Keneally, thanks for holding it together.